everyone and welcome back to another tip of the month. In this tip of the month, we're going to see how to create a model out of a block model so we can have something like this. And we're going to see how to divide this into sections here and to schedule a tonnage report for printing or exporting to PDF. So the first thing we want to do is go to engineering one and we're going to use the command 3D contour from Stope Design. So we're going to click on the command, select the block model and hit enter. So in here, essentially what you're going to do is select the grade that you want to create the contour of or the, th the 3D model of. And you have the option to apply two values here. One value can be value one here. In this case, we, we can set it to four grams per ton. So the model, so the program essentially will try to draw the 3D model at four grams per ton. And for value two, we're going to leave this one empty here. The block size will be automatically retrieved from the block model. So in this case, we have blocks four by four by four. And the layer here, we're, we're going to keep that on the model one. And in case that you have a value two, you can subtract value two solid from value one, which would which would essentially give you a, a hollow solid uh, from the inside. So we're going to hit OK. And uh, the well, you select the destination layer once more, so model one. And as we can see here, if we go to plan view, and we turn off the layer, the block model layer, we have our 3D model here. So this is what it looks like. So essentially this here has a grade of four grams per ton. Now the next step what we'll do is we're going to use the divide 3D model again from the stope design module. And we're going to select the model here, cl uh, cl uh, click on a start point. So in this case, I want to start from here going in this direction. So I'm going to use the ortho, or, ortho mode and I want to tell the program that we want to go in this direction. You have you have the option to divide the model by volume or distance. In my case here, I'm going to click distance and I'm going to select a distance of 25. So what's going to happen now is that the, the program will cut your model at every 25 units. So as we, we can see here, it's cutting the first part and you're, you're going to have this option here where you can divide the next segment or divide until the end of the model. In my case, I'm going to click on divide until end and the program will continue to divide this model until it finishes. Well, until it stops at the end. So this segment here is 25 and then we have one more that's 25 and one more 25. All right. So as we can see, we have a little grid at the bottom here and the model is cut. And just to organize this a little bit better, what we're going to do is select um, select the uh, we're going to select uh, the mining, the, the model, the main model here, and we're going to put that on layer Uh, model one uh, model one and we're gonna just turn off this okay so now we're basically left with the mining blocks which are divided here as you can see we have a small one at the end here so we can still schedule a tonnage report for this one here next step is to use the mine planning module in this case first we need to configure in the options our mining blocks. So you click on the model module options and then click on mining blocks. And in here you already have pre-configured mining blocks. So for example, we have a 400 tons per day at $20 per ton block. All right. And what we're going to do is create our own custom mining block. So the descript the description can be anything you want, but I would suggest for you to keep it simple such as 500 tons per day for example at $150 per ton. So the tonnage per day will be 500. Cost per ton will be 150. 
For the attributes of the block that you, we will insert in AutoCAD, we can also apply a few here. So the type, the name, duration, start date, end date. We also have the option to add materials. So you can add more to this list, but in this case, we're, we can just select a few random materials to take into consideration, just to um, have an example here. For the grades, we know that the average tonnage, uh, the average grade of this model is four. So we're gonna add the grade here. Hit okay, okay, okay one more time. And then now from, again, mine planning, we're gonna click on insert, hit uh, mining block, select the mining block that we configured. And we're gonna add the block here for the first one. So in here, we're gonna name this mining block one, 500, ton 500 tons per day, $150 per ton. Now for the tonnage, this is where it gets very interesting. We're gonna say pick, and we're gonna, for the volume, we're gonna say pick, select our cut here, the first, the first piece, and hit enter. And as you can see, the program will automatically retrieve the total volume of this first piece. You can apply a fixed value for the density. So for example, here it's 2.75 and hit okay. And the program will automatically calculate your tonnage, leaving you with um, the tonnage that you need for the first piece right here. The grades were, were retrieved from the option that we picked. So we had four grams per ton. For the elevation, this is for the attributes. So you can leave this at zero. It really doesn't matter. For the predecessors here, since we're starting at the first piece, then we don't need to add anything. However, we need to add a date. So the date type will be start on, pick your calendar and select 2023, for example, January 1st. Uh, you, you can also add a delay. So in this case, uh, you know, if you have any issues at the mine, you can always apply a delay right here. For the calendar, we can apply different calendars. Of course, you can add more to this, to this list. So this will be the vacations for your personnel to take into account when scheduling, when, when scheduling your, your, um, your, your uh, mining blocks here. You can also set a, an actual progress. So in case that you've already started mining this block, then you can add a progress of, let's say, 20%. But in this case, because we're starting in the future, we're still planning this, that we, we will not apply any actual progress. So once this is done, we're gonna hit okay. And as we can see here, we have our uh, attributes shown. So 500 tons per day, $150 per ton. So this is the mining block option, mining block one. It's gonna take us 121 days, starting at this date until this date then we're going to repeat the same process for the other pieces as well. So again, select 500, 500 tons per day, pick the tonnage, pick the volume, apply a density, hit OK, and we'll get the tonnage. Now, for the predecessors, we what we want to do here is say pick, and then pick our first mining block. Now what will happen here is that we're telling the program that we want to start the second mining uh, mining block piece after the first one. So our predecessor is mining block one. We will not apply any delays uh, for the calendar. We're going to set it to the vacation calendar and hit OK. Oh, uh, I just forgot to change the name here to mining block two. Okay. All right, we're going to proceed to number three. Same option. Hit here, pick the tonnage, pick the volume, select the last one. Well, we still have a little tonnage left here, so we're going to use that. Calculate the tonnage. The grade is four, as always. For the predecessor, now it's going to be two. Uh, calendar, vacations, hit OK. Oh, again, I forgot to change the name. Sorry about that. And last but not least, we still have a little piece of tonnage here that we can schedule a mining block for. So this one will be very quick to mine. Select the tonnage. Oh, as you can see, it's 
340 tons while we're mining 500 tons per day. So this this should take one day to mine out. Predecessor will be the mining block three. Don't forget to change the name. Calendar will be vacations. All right. So yeah, as you can see here, this will take one day. Now that we have our mining blocks, we're going to proceed to insert our graph. So using the reports command still from the mine planning module, we're going to click here, click on tonnage, hit OK, select all the mining blocks, hit enter. And here you have the time division. We're going to set it to monthly, but you can also set it to weekly or daily. You, the output type will be graph in AutoCAD, or you can also export it to Excel. So if you select this option, the program will prompt you to save the file um, before inserting it in AutoCAD. So you, this is an option as well. Uh, the mark rate, you can set uh, sort of like a benchmark. The date range, the date range we'll, we're going to set it to automatic. So it's going to start from the first date until the last one. Show subdivisions, we're, we're not going to show the actual progress because we don't have any. Hit OK, insert our graph right here, for example, and here we have it. So as we can see here, we have uh, the, the Y axis is our tonnage per month, and the X axis here is the date in months. And we have the tonnage per month report. Last but not least, we can also apply a little layout to print this. So we're going to set it to the layer zero. We're going to apply a scale of maybe 200. No grids just to. Oh, this one uh, is off. OK, that's no problem. We can select it to put to be on this one. So we're going to apply the grid here, hit continue. And um, as you can see here, the um, uh, it doesn't show too well, so what we can do is just change the color of our annotations, and there we have it. Zoom in a little bit more to view this, and this is ready for print or to export in PDF. So I hope you enjoyed this tip of the month. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.